Is it time to buy or sell Apple stock? Delve deeper into Apple with us. Our initial report was released on Tuesday, March 12, 2024, and now we're bringing you a more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay ahead of key updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our new AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access AI's capabilities for free price predictions and in-depth analysis of 25,000 companies worldwide. Please remember, this video is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. Since February 6, 2024, our system has identified Apple as a sell candidate, with a score of minus 1.80. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance over this period. The stock has seen a decrease of minus 8.49% in value. On average, this translates to a daily loss of minus 0.34% since being labeled as a sell candidate. The stock is currently in a downward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decrease. Over the next three months, there is a projected minus 9.65% change, with a possible return between minus 12.36% and minus 4% based on the current trend. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, there is a forecasted 10.92% change, with a potential return ranging from 8.36% to 29.86%. This translates to a price range of $187.72 to $224.95 after a year. Our latest update on Apple reveals that the stock price increased by 0.278% on Tuesday. The stock rose from $172.75 to $173.23 on the last trading day, marking a three-day streak of gains. It will be interesting to observe if this upward trend continues or takes a brief pause in the coming days. On the previous trading day, the stock fluctuated between $171.02 and $174.03, showcasing a 1.76% variation. Notably, the stock has experienced a decrease in price over the last 10 days, amounting to minus 5.15%. Trading volume also declined by minus 481,000 shares on the last day, with a total of 59 million shares traded, equivalent to approximately $10.14 billion. It's crucial to note that a decrease in volume amidst rising prices can indicate potential changes in the market dynamics ahead. Looking back at the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price stood at $199.62, while the lowest was $149.92. Presently, the stock is 13.22% or $26.39 below its 52-week peak and 24.11% or $55.03 below the all-time high recorded on August 30, 2018, when it reached $228.26. Analyst Ratings On Friday, February 2, 2024, Goldman Sachs upgraded Apple to outperform. On Thursday, February 1, 2024, Piper Sandler rated Apple as overweight. On Tuesday, January 30, 2024, Wedbush gave Apple an outperform rating. On Thursday, January 18, 2024, Bank of America Securities upgraded Apple to buy. On Thursday, January 18, 2024, Bank of America Securities downgraded Apple to negative. Analysts highly recommend Apple stock, giving it a strong buy rating across various metrics. The P.E. ratio and price-to-book ratio both receive a strong buy rating. In terms of return on investment, analysts also rate the stock as a strong buy. Here are the signals identified for Apple. Today, the Apple stock shows mixed signals. The short-term moving average indicates a buy signal, while the long-term average suggests a general sell signal. With the long-term average exceeding the short-term average, a negative forecast is projected for the stock. Resistance is expected at $183.30 for further gains, with support at $171.44 in case of a fall. Breaking through the long-term average will trigger a buy signal, while dropping below the short-term average will strengthen the sell signal. 
Additionally, a cell signal is currently present from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. A buy signal was identified from a pivot bottom point on March 7, 2024, resulting in a 2.5% increase. Continued rise is anticipated until a new top pivot is established. Despite price gains, volume declined in the last trading session, indicating a potential warning sign of divergence between volume and price. It is advised to closely monitor the stock. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, buy signal 4 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 4 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 31 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 29 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 24 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 20 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 12 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Apple. Apple has found support from accumulated volume at $170.73. This level could present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction may occur when the support is tested. With average movements during the day and good trading volume, the risk for this stock is considered medium. In the last day, Apple moved $3.01 between its high and low, which is equivalent to 1.76%. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 1.75%. Let's start by looking at some essential fundamental data before discussing potential trading levels for Apple. The price-to-earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is a key metric that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A normal P-E ratio like Apple's is typical for businesses with established track records or consistent revenues. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for May 2, 2024. Analysts' average estimate for earnings is $1.50. It's important to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Let's now explore potential day trading levels for Apple. In an upward trend, Apple's first resistance level is at $180.75. If you're considering a position, wait for this level to be breached. For current shareholders, this could be a level to watch for swing trading opportunities. On the downside, Apple's initial support level is at $170.73. If this support holds, it might serve as a good entry point, with a potential rebound in mind. Apple has received a strong buy rating from multiple analyst sources. Let's delve into some recent insider trades. On February 28, 2024, Wagner Susan bought 15 16 shares of restricted stock unit as an insider. On February 28, 2024, Sugar Ronald D purchased 15 16 shares of restricted stock unit as an insider. On February 28, 2024, Lozano Monica C acquired 15 16 shares of restricted stock unit as an insider. On February 29, 2024, Levinson Arthur D. sold 100,000 shares of common stock as an insider. On February 28, 2024, Levinson Arthur D. bought 15 16 shares of restricted stock unit as an insider. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we've determined the insider power to be negative, with a ratio of minus 18.876. In the last 100 trades, Insiders bought 2,189,268 shares and sold 3,211,238 shares. We have given a negative evaluation for this stock, and it's important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Apple stock a good buy? Apple currently exhibits negative signals, suggesting a weak performance in the upcoming days or weeks. Our evaluation leans towards a negative outlook on this stock. 
Upon analyzing recent volatility in market movements, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. Anticipating trading on Wednesday, March 13, Apple is projected to open down $0.470 and commence trading at $172.76. Trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It is important to consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please be aware that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you accept responsibility for your investment actions. Providing our current perspective on the stock. Share your thoughts in the comments. What's your target price? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and happy trading from the StockInvest team.